Hey, welcome, welcome, I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to Triple A's Galaxy and today we're coming at you with as you see probably the title or even the thumbnail um, we're coming up to you with is the PS4 even worth it in the year 2022 uh, hope, I hope you really do hope you actually see this this year but if you're not then hello from the past uh, from the I don't know, <laughs> but with that, that being said, we just added to see that like if, it's, if PS4 is going to be worth it in the year 2022 and why or if it's going to be worth it for you specifically. So with that, that being said, let's just jump back to it. All right. So honestly, the first thing we're going to be talking about, it's like it really depends, right? So it really depends if it's worth it for you or it really depends for who. Right. So what are you looking to get out of the, you know, the system? Are you looking to just, you know, play around just every now and then after school or after, you know, work or whatever, you know, you do? Are you really looking around to do that? Or are you willing, like, are you wanting to play hardcore games and start streaming and start doing stuff like that and start doing YouTube and all that? That totally, totally depends on what you want to do with the system, right? So first of all, if you want to sit here and just casually play, casually game, and you know, just have fun a little bit, then honestly, I don't think that's a really a problem. And I really do recommend you to get a PS4 straight up. End the video, leave, leave a like, get subscribed, and then you have a wonderful day. Go get your PS4. But but if you're looking for a little bit more, for example, like um, you know, maybe some making a little YouTube videos or making a little stuff, or even maybe even want to play some hardcore games or big games, right? then I, I definitely uh, uh, recommend you to maybe even save up and look for alternative like maybe a PS5 or Xbox or better even than just get you a PC is gonna give you the best option or the best uh, choice out of all yeah it might be a little bit expensive but you'll be able to play a, like a lot a lot higher games and even more games and uh, you can stream and do whatever you want or not, only, not not even only play games you can play like you can like use PC other than games you know for per personal or business work and all that so that's why I kind of like do recommend PC on that end so at the end of the day it really does depends on what are you using the PS4 for right so like for example if you never really had a ps4 or you just jumped in from the you know like, like you have a ps3 and you want to jump into the ps4 then i totally get it it's cheap it's probably 100 bucks maximum 150 if you can find it like used somewhere don't go to gamestop don't go to those type of things because they're gonna rip you off really and most of you guys know that if you really play games or even sold them some type of games but um yeah that's pretty much it you just get you a PS4 if it's cheap, you know, find you a used one and play some games. Honestly, the thing that the thing I would really say that the reason why like look, so the reason why it's really, really, really worth it to get a PS4 right now, especially in 2022 is because old games, right? So like, let's say you didn't have money back then to buy a game or to buy something or whatever like that then now you have the opportunity to play that game for really 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 low price and the same amount of fun that almost anybody had from the beginning or whoever played that game from the beginning so it really see me it really depends or and, and and where you want the ps4 for right it still can run amazing games and still games coming out on the ps4 so technically the ps4 is really not dead yet i would give it an, another like maybe three years at max maximum maximum maybe four years left for the ps4 life you know but after that they still might be a lot of people playing hacking it jailbreaking etc so i do recommend you highly highly get your ps4 matter of fact even if you want to still get your gaming pc and then you want to get other things then I will say, get you a PS4 still, just for the sake of it. Like imagine you finding uh, games for like Spider-Man games, for example. I don't really play Spider-Man games a lot, but I'm waiting for it to go like maybe 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks, right? So whenever it goes that low, I can buy me a Spider-Man game, have the same amount of fun that anybody had with it when since the game came out. I have the same experience, 
I only bought it for 10 bucks or 15 at max. So that's why I say you gotta really think what you gotta see what's going on instead of buying the PS5 and get you a brand new game and all that. For example, Miles Morales or whatever it's called, the, the new Spider-Man. And um, pay 60, 70 bucks for a game that give it three years is gonna be like 20 bucks. So yeah, this is my opinion on really getting a PS4 or even getting, getting used hardware. Like, especially when you have like, uh, if you have the ability to get a used hardware and save up money and put that money that you have towards something else, like maybe, shit, you want to buy more games or buy more accessories or etc, etc, then I highly, highly recommend you do that because like, it's literally the best option. You're saving money, you're still playing what you want and you're doing all that. But again, as I was saying, if you're really truly just looking for hardcore games, really big, new games, um, just just i don't know like a big big you know library of games then obviously i do recommend you to get a pc and don't look away on, on ps4 so again at the end of the day it really just depends on what you're looking for where are you looking for in the system where what do you want to get out of the system so with that that being said thank you so much for watching and i really do hope that this video at least you know gave you some type of understanding or what you need to do and maybe even helped you just just a tiny bit on what decisions would you like to take but if it did you know what to do leave a like and if it didn't it's all right you can leave a dislike but without that being said i love you and you have a wonderful day and i would like to see you in the next video Bye bye